Hi, I'm Matthew Sanbury, Coordinator of Historic Trades and Agriculture here at the Genesee Country Village Museum. On this episode of The Year on the Farm, we're grafting apple trees uh, with period techniques and tools. Grafting is a horticultural technique whereby tissues from one plant are inserted into those of another so that the two sets of vascular tissues may join together. This is one simple way of increasing the sought after types of fruit or other characteristics. The first step in grafting is to select the proper limb. The tree selected could be improved by using the grafted material from a more productive tree. Here we've chosen to cut off limbs from diseased apple trees. The infected portions will be removed, limiting contamination of other areas and trees, and new grafts will prolong their life and fruitfulness. Next, select the scions. These must be of first year growth and be under the thickness of a pencil. When selecting the scions, look for a longer branch that will allow for increased strength as it develops. Simply cut the branch off as close to the limb as possible. Once collected, the scions can be trimmed. When trimming a scion used in a cleft graft, Use a sharp pen knife to cut the base of the scion down into a wedge. If inserting more than one scion, be sure to match up the wedges so that they all fit snug into the split. In order to create a cleft and hold it open to insert the scions, a grafting fro is used. There are many types of 19th century grafting fros. A few are demonstrated here. Many are handmade and some are even adapted from other hand tools. The one we're using today is handmade. The trees that are to be grafted should be then trimmed with a saw so as to create a flat end. The trimmed branch should be between the size of a quarter and a tennis ball. The fro is lined up either horizontally or vertically to the end of the cut. The fro is then driven into the cut branch until the split is about an inch deep. The wedge tooth on the fro is then tapped into the center of the split. Now that the split is wedged open, the scion can be trimmed and inserted. In order to protect a new graft, the area should be sealed with wax. The grafting wax will protect against the elements and keep the cyan in place. The recipe we've used here includes beeswax, pine resin, and mineral oil, and is from Alma Edwards' diary from 1861. The wax can be made up of many different recipes. A base should be beeswax and pine resin. Other common additives to the wax include tallow, tar, brick dust, lime, and chalk. Grafting wax should be stored in a metal or ceramic pot, so it is able to be heated. When the wax is in a liquid form, it is ready to apply. First coat your hands in a tallow, lard, or balm. This will lubricate your hands and make the wax easier to remove. Apply the wax to the end of the cut, as well as the side of the split. A good tip is to apply the wax anywhere that the limb or scion have been cut by the fro or the knife. To finish the waxing, use your fingers to smear it on the exposed wood until it is covered completely. I hope you enjoyed our grafting demonstration. Please stay tuned for more on the farm.